this, this video on the volume of a rectangular prism. And the strategy here is to just, just count the cubes uh, and, and think about why that helps us with the formula for the volume. Now the formula for the volume is of a cube or a rectangular prism is the length times the width times the height. So, and that makes sense because we have this height by this length by this width, right? And all three directions multiplied give us the shape. Now, to get to that point and to understand that, we need to understand what volume is. And I like, like this little key right here because here we have a little cube, right? A cube is uh, a, a rectangular prism where every edge or side, right, these corners are the same length. It's one by one by, by one. Um, and that's called a cubic inch. And that's how we measure volume. Not just by cubic inches, I mean, but by, by literally cubic feet or cubic inches, how many cubes f make a shape or fit into it. So volume is about three dimensions, right? We have height and length and width. Sometimes uh, we refer to one of these dimensions as depth. But um, we have three dimensions. And the volume is how much space is taken up. And to measure that, we say, well, how many how many cubes of a certain size of inches or whatever would fit in this shape. So this is fun because really to find the volume we could take 3 by 4, the length by 2, the height, and that would give us 24 which is the answer, or we could just count the cubes. So this top layer has how many cubes? Well it has 3 in the front, it goes 4 back, and all together, well 3 by 4, this is 12 cubes. 12 cubes up here. And there are two identical stacks, right? Now we don't know they're identical, and they they should say that, I think, but they don't. Um, there could be some gaps in there, but uh, we have to assume that it's identical, so we have two stacks, each stack has 12, and that's again 24 cubes. We use a similar strategy here, just have more cubes. And again, we can say, well, what's 3 by, by 6, that's the width, by the length, by 4, so 3 by 6, by 4, what's that? Well, um, I'm going to do 4 times 3 first. I'm going to get a 12 in there, and then 12 times 6, that's 72. 72 cubic inches. That's how much volume this, this shape takes up. It's how many cubes it would take to fill it. Um, and then if we, if we could just remember that volume is about space, and cubes take up that space, um, we could just count. We could say on top, in this first layer, let me get my line tool on this top layer right here, from here to here, how many how many cubes are on this layer? And once we count that, right, this top layer right here, we can, we can just say, well, how many layers are there? There's three layers. So whatever number of cubes are on this top layer, we can count that and multiply it by, by three to get the total volume. And to do that, we can do, there's four this way, by, by how many? By six. Four by six, which is 24, and then there are three stacks of 24, so it's 24 by 3, which is 72. And that's really what we're doing here in this formula, right? Because 4 times 6 is one layer, and then there are three layers of 4 by 6, or 6 by 4, and we still get 72. That's the idea of the volume. Now, in this in this shape, we have even, uh, we have four layers this way, but we could think, well, I have two layers this way. So I'm going to, I mean, I can write my, think about my layers any way I want to. Um, so I'm going to find this front, this front layer right here. Right? So we have this front layer right here. And I'm going to find out how many cubes are there and just double that. So how many cubes are here? Well, it's 4 by 3, 6, 8. So 4 by 8, which is 32 cubes here. And notice I didn't even have to count that third dimension because I know that, that there are 32 squares on this face but each of those each of these square faces is one cube so there's 32 square faces here that's my first layer of cubes and there are two layers of cubes so there's 64 cubes that take up the volume of the shape and if I was stuck there I could just again find out these dimensions it's 4 by 8 by 2 so 4 by 8 which we did before that's 32 to find the volume, we take the width, the height, and the length, and multiply all of them. So I've already multiplied the width and the, the height. Now we have that number, 32, times the number of layers, right? Which is 
64 cubic feet. And that's the really general opening into volume. And volume gets really fun because it is really fun to look at 3D shapes and calculate them and you start coming up with these really crazy questions uh, about why this works. It all really comes back to this basic idea of cubes. How many cubes fit into something? And then we can talk about surface area. How many squares fit onto the surface of something? But that's, that's for other videos. Alright, hope this helped.